Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm in Bedfordshire today. I'm going to a pub. No ordinary pub. It's this one here. It's called The Fan Court. It's one of very few pubs that has a miniature railway. So, let's go and have a trip on The Fan Court Railway. Let's go across the road here. Here is what looks like, you know, a lovely little country pub. And it's always nice to go to a country pub, but when they've got a railway out the back, it just makes it so much more exciting. So, um, I'm going to have a ride on the train, and I'm probably going to have a pint, and um, yeah, have a nice afternoon out, really. So, here's the garden out the back of the pub. You can see all the picnic tables, and just across the picnic tables, it says Fancourt Station. So, that's where we're going to go for our ride. So, we arrive here, here. Is the station? Oh, there's a steam locker outside. So you have a look at that. There's our, our train waiting for us. So um, when they're ready, we'll go for a ride. Let's just go and have a look at the loco though first um, before we have our ride. Here we are. It's a it's a Mardike built high mech called Dark Star. I'll just show you that. Closer look. There we go. So, um, we're going to go for a ride. It's um, quite interesting because what it does, it I won't show you too much from here, but I'll give you an idea. It goes out, round the back, round there, round again, and back to the station. So, um, let's go and have a, a ride and then a pint.
I enjoyed having a trip behind D7031 Dark Star and it was interesting watching the manoeuvre they do to turn the train round so it's now ready to take another lot of passengers when they arrive on another trip around the railway. I've been given permission by the staff here to take you in the engine shed so um, we're going to do that now. So I'm going to walk up the platform here. Now here is the shed. This is the newer shed because you may have heard um, a few years ago, 2015, they had a rather disastrous fire, um, which was very sad. A couple of locos were damaged beyond repair. You'll see one in there that has been repaired and um, the railway, you know, rebuilt and reopened. So let's go and have a look in the shed. So we have, um, we have a loco here, the Phoenix, number three. You can just see right in here. Now this one, Herbie. American style loco. This loco was damaged in the fire but it, she has been rebuilt and um, there's a plaque down here which tells you when she was built and how she was rebuilt. I'll, um, I'll put an insert in now. So there you are, just gives you a chance to read that. So yeah this is their American style loco. And um, yeah, here's the Phoenix, and we had a trip behind Dark Star. I'm just going to take you for a walk down beside the track now and tell you a bit of the history of the railway. So, the railway first opened here at a pub in 1975, and it was a um, 10 and a quarter inch gauge railway. That closed in 1986, and then 1996. A railway returned in the form of this seven and a quarter inch gauge railway, and it was a, a very basic out and back round the field. Um, 2001 was rebuilt again, and they put in the extra spur across here. We'll go and have a look over the bridge, be able to show that to you. So that's how the railway developed into what you get today. So, you, as I said, you go out the station. Go off round the field, right the way round there. Take this spur here, round again and back to the station. Let's go over the footbridge. I like it when the miniature railways have footbridges because not so many miniature railways do, so it gives a nice vantage point. So next time a train comes, be able to watch it all. So here we are, here's the triangle. So there's no turntable on this line. Um, down there is the steaming bays, which we saw from the train. If we have a wander down here, here is the signal box. What I'm going to do now though, I'm going to head back to the pub and I'm going to go and enjoy a pint.
Well, I've had a great afternoon here at the Fancourt Miniature Railway. I've now got my pint. Um, it's a really, really nice place. So, you know, if you're ever out in Bedfordshire Way or if you're heading up or down the M1, you could get off at Junction 12. It's only about five minutes away from Junction 12 by car. Um, can't really get here easily by train. The nearest railway station is Harlington on the Midland Main Line. So um, I would suggest, you know, you do come by car, but it's definitely worth coming. So, you know, do come visit, have a pint, have a meal, have a ride on the train. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends both about Henry's Adventures and the Fancock Miniature Railway from the Fancock Pub. Cheers. Goodbye.